Hi, I'm celebrity hairstylist Bradley Leak. If you want to learn how to create a voluminous, sexy blowout at home, keep watching. To instantly add volume to the hair, use Purology Instant Levitation Mist. Apply on damp hair and spray at the root throughout the hair. As you can see, that instantly adds volume and you can let it air dry or blow dry based on your styling routine. To create voluminous, a voluminous wave, I feel like using a root lifting spray is important, especially if you have skinny or fine textured hair at home. I love this one from Purology because it leaves the hair feeling lightweight and voluminous without any sticky or gritty hold. Vavoom Height of Glam Volumizing Foam is a lightweight volumizing product that is great to apply to damp hair and add hold and shine as well as heat protection because let's be real, long hair should not be damaged. Apply the mousse from the mid shaft to the ends. This is going to help the roller set to have memory and stay in place. Soft curtain bang around the front of the hairline. We're going to keep it long, but taking a reverse triangle section at the front of the hair here, making sure that it's even on both sides. <laughs> if you have a comb like this, I would recommend using the wide tip of the comb rather than the skinny end of the comb, and that is going to keep it so that the hair has less tension and does not shrink. If you have tried to do a roller set at home and have been unsuccessful, there might be a few reasons why. Definitely need to use the right products to give your hair hold and memory as well as making sure that you are setting the rollers and using the right styling technique. So today I'm going to share with you the way that you should properly install Velcro rollers. To start, just like we did for the bang, I like to take a reverse triangle section at the front of the hairline. And it's important to start at the front of the hairline because not only is this what you're going to see, but your arms are gonna get tired. So start with the most important part. We're taking a no crease clip. These are from Basic Bee Beauty and we are going to set the roller into place. This fringe section as well as the side sections here are the most important sections. And as I mentioned, it's important to lift the hair up as well as forward for the bang if you're wanting to get that swoop across the front of your forehead. We're going to allow this to cool for anywhere from three to five minutes. I recommend doing the rollers, putting on your makeup, and then taking the rollers out before you leave the house. As many of you know, having a great foundation is the key. So starting with a great roller set is a wonderful way to extend your shampoos and give your hair a little break from heat styling throughout. As I mentioned, we're going to work in the front section first. So what I'm going to do is actually take the hair and split it from the ear back. And we're gonna work this in, as a front section and this as the back section. All right, 
So here is a fun little hair hack for the back of the head. You can start by using the ear as a guide. And we're gonna work in two sections, a lower section and a top section. If you have a lot of hair like Angie, again, focusing on the front, and we're just gonna add that soft bend to the back. I'm using the big ass barrel curling iron from Bougie Beauty Brand. It has digital a digital temperature. I have my temperature at 390. And I'm going to take a section. It's important to take your section to be about the size of the roller, not much larger, because we're going to keep the end soft down here. It's not quite as important, but the general rule of thumb is take the section a little bit smaller than the size of the roller. Using the iron to warm up the hair and setting it in a Velcro roller creates a soft bend throughout the hair, adding memory, movement, and volume. This styling technique is great for those of you using rollers on dry hair for days two, three, or even four. The important tip the when taking out the rollers is that you're going to want to take them out the same direction that you put them in. So for the lower ones, since I rolled them up, we're going to keep the hair down and we're going to pull them out. As you can see, there's a little grip on the Velcro, so you are going to experience a little tension, but the end result is a soft, bouncy, and smooth wave. All right, so a few little tips to make sure that your blow, your sexy blowout lasts and you can wear it for a couple days. I love the Invisible Dry Shampoo from Redken. This is a great product to extend the life of your blow dry, absorb oils, and it doesn't leave, leave any residue behind. It is completely clear, which is amazing for those of you with darker shades of hair like Angie here. As I mentioned, it's great to absorb oils and it's going to extend the life of your blow dry. To finish, we're going to add Redken Dry Texture Spray. This has a nice hold and a dry finish, so this is great to finish the look and add a little bit of volume without any sort of a sticky hold. To make it so that the bangs stay, you can use your basic B no crease setting clip. I like to keep them flat on the forehead and then open up right around the eyebrow and set it. Use a little bit of texture spray or hairspray to hold the look. My last little hair hack. This is L'Oreal Professional Root Touch Up Spray. It is a great an easy product to touch up gray hair with. I'm sure if you have gray hair at home, you have tried a product similar. But Bitch. it's also great for someone like Angie here who has lighter ends and a little bit more of a darker base color because this is about a shade and a half lighter than her natural base color. So it's going to come through and blend this line of demarcation so her hair color looks fresh, especially in photos. <laughs>